Yo, what's up, guys? It is Jake, callsign Groot from NSS, not so soft, airsoft, baby, in the house. Let's go. Today, I got my APS 115 electric blowback, 12.5 uh, inch um, barrel with key mod. And I'm going to show you kind of the externals and the internals and how I got this to look and perform like a DMR. Starting out, I have this power up suppressor hollowed out, makes it a lot more lightweight. And I wrapped it in camo, which is super helpful, it makes it look sick. I got this angled grip. Um, I have big hands and this really just helps the gun feel comfortable um, and fits to my liking and gives me um, just more assistance with control and aim and it just makes the gun feel really nice. Next up, we have this um, sight protector. It's super cheap, it's like 10 bucks in to save and protect an $80 scope investment, totally worth it. Um, I have this QD um, sling mount here that goes just into the circle spot on my rail. It's heavy duty, you know, holds my gun up on its own. Super nice, and I love that. I just got this Valken one through four time scope. The thing is really nice. It has red and green illumination options, but I just use the normal mill dot black um, that I don't have to use the battery and worry about it dying. It has this really nice um, on the go adjustment knob. You don't need a coin or anything and the things screw off really nice and easy. The eye relief is great. The scope works amazing. I might do a review on this later, um, but definitely proud of that investment. I also have these DMR mags, which like really just complete the look. You don't have a long mag sticking out like a normal M4 and it's kind of different and just adds a little to the spice of this gun. And it's really nice. Um, I might do a video on this paint job as well. Um, and I'm really proud of that paint job. And here is one of my mistakes. My gun just started falling apart because I, I left my mag oh, in my gun. Not, 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 my not. So, um, yeah, <laughs> pretty funny. Y'all can laugh at me. I think it's hilarious. Um, but it does do my barrel length justice. You know, it makes it a little longer um, with it still in the gun. Um, but I going over to some of the internals, um, I have a tight bore 6.03 Prometheus barrel works for me it gets the job done if i were to do it again i, I would get a 6.02 but it really like i'm not going to get down by like the numbers that much really don't really matter um and then i have a nub i don't know exactly what nub it is i give it to a tech and it was just some nub that was in my hop-up unit um so i am running a nub and i currently have a normal bucking in but i feel like the barrel and the nub help out enough to give me Pretty nice range and accuracy, but definitely gonna be swapping that out for a maple leaf that I just got in and um, checking out my hop-up unit here. I do have the stock hop-up. Um, this comes in a lot of guns, surprisingly. Um, even the Lancer Tactical Gen 2s have rotary style hop-ups, but um, if I were to switch this out, I would get a Crytac one since that has the holder for the nub that you just clip in the nub and then slide the hop-up arm back down and seems really easy. Um, but haven't really messed with that too much, but I did get some flat hop nubs and um, so it might be messing around with that. Um, besides that, we have a Gate Titan Advanced in there, which allows me to um, just, you know, have a burst mode on full auto, which is really nice. So kind of helps with the performance of the DMR and the feel. If someone's not calling their hits on a single, then I'll switch to burst and I give them a little something. But I hope you guys enjoyed um, here at NSS. We got some new content going out. We're getting back into this. Um, we're just gonna try and provide some helpful, some entertaining videos. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just let us know. And uh, I have some other um, optics that I may run. Um, it's only one, but it is this really nice um, and affordable red dot. It's only $25 on Amazon and the links to everything will be in the description, guys. So definitely check that out. But this thing performs really nice. It's super easy to zero in and it works great, especially for airsoft. Um, and then just the barrel cover, another necessity um, for when you're not playing on the field. Uh, if you guys wanna see a loadout video or a shooting test, uh, definitely stay tuned and links will be in the description. Hope you enjoy and good luck with your build guys. This is Jake from NSS. I hope you guys have a great time on the field and stay tuned some, to some more of our videos. We've got some unboxings coming up and some shooting tests. And we're just gonna be having some fun guys. Take care, stay blessed. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces. Oh.